What's up everybody and welcome back to the Wizard's Chest. I am Kyle and today it is time for the well overdue toy haul. Uh, this will be about two weeks worth of stuff so be prepared, strap in, go grab a cup of coffee and a candy bar. Let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing uh, I want to tell you is that things are going to be a little bit different in this toy haul. Instead of just breezing right through what I got, I might cut this up into two parts. Because I feel like it's going to be uh, quite a long video, so I might cut it up into a couple parts. But, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take the stuff out of the box and actually show it to you guys. Instead of me doing my reviews and stuff, I'm just going to take it out of the box, give you a closer look. Hopefully you guys will like this. Uh, I think it'll be better for me instead of storing all my stuff that I get in the closet telling myself, oh, well, that'll make a good review. That'll make a good review. I don't get to them. And then all of a sudden there's 18,000 reviews of the same thing out. So just going to switch it up a little bit. But anyways, I think Ruffles is doing something crazy right now. I got a lot of good stuff. So this will be uh, toys that I picked up from Target, uh, Walmart, GameStop. Uh, I think I went to the mall. I went to the Lego store, Madness Games and Comics, so just a, a bit of everything. Uh, Holocron, that uh, Star Wars store that I checked out in Fort Worth the other day. And what else? Uh, okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, uh, the North Dallas Toy Show. That's what I was going to say. All right, well, enough jibber-jabber. Let's take a look at some toys, shall we? All right, so the first things first is I'm a big fan of the What If Comics. So what if Spidey kept his six arms? Um, pretty cool comic. And I picked up the six arm Spider-Man. So it's cool to have these together. I can display them somehow. And I'm, I'm thinking about doing like shelves of each character that I have. I actually have that already for my Iron Man. But those need to go away for Mesco. So I don't know what to do. I'm running out of room here. <laughs> if you have that problem, let me know and what you're doing about it. All right, here's a little bit closer look at the Spider-Man. Pretty sweet, I think. Also, I should have prefaced this video by saying I'm not gonna be taking everything out of the box and showing it to you, because some st stuff I like to leave on the card. So I might, I don't know, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 25 unopened Marvel Legends at this point, which is highly irregular because if you can see behind me, most of those are Marvel Legends up there, so I'm just crazy. All right, next at the uh, North Dallas Toy Show, I picked up, is this uh, Hawk or Falcon Man? I can't remember his name. I am not a G.I. Joe guy. I don't know anything about the line. Uh, but I did watch Toy Galaxy's Top 10 Weird Toys or something like that. He did a, a few weeks ago. And this made the list. I thought it was great. Uh, I love the bird attachment that he comes with. I like the detail on him. He's got the mask. He's got the bird headdress. And he's got this little cape thing that spreads open. And I uh, picked it up for five bucks. So you can't beat that. And it's in really great condition. So... I like the weird stuff, the oddities. Alright, so I looked it up online, and it is the G.I. Joe Raptor figure, so... I thought it was Falcon or Hawk or something like that, but... Those are other G.I. Joe figures. I got the Reign of the Superman. Watched about 20 minutes of it and fell asleep, so I'm going to have to give it another go. It had a really slow beginning, but hopefully it picks up... Um, but the first 22 minutes kind of dragged. It is an hour and 27 minutes long, so not bad for a uh, cartoon feature, but it looks really cool. And I like the story. It's about the death of Superman, and then um, I think Lex Luthor is making these clones from Superman's DNA. I think that's the plot. Once again, I was very sleepy. Much like my friend Ruffles is here most of the time, aren't you, Ruffles? Oh, yes. Oh, crazy dog. Ah. All right, slowly but surely, I have been uh, getting into some Transformers. This is a new line for me. I don't know anything about them. Never had them as a kid. 
Uh, just recently took out Soundwave and uh, got the uh, cassettes in the different pack with Bumblebee. And as you can see, I picked up the Optimus Prime. This is from the Studio Series um, Generations, but it looks really, really cool. And I did not have an Optimus Prime. You gotta have the leader. So, looks pretty sweet. I will be taking this out later and showing it to you guys, so. Actually, let's go ahead and cut over to this now, shall we? All right, here he is in all his glory, Optimus Prime. My first Optimus Prime ever. Looks pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to mess around with him and see how he transforms. I heard this one can be kind of finicky, but we shall see. I'm a fidgeter, so should work out rather nicely. What else? What should we look at next? Ah, yes, Wendigo. So I've been wanting to pick this guy up for a while because I'm a huge fan of Wolverine and I believe the first cover that Wolverine was ever featured on, he's fighting Wendigo and I think Sasquatch is in the background. Or maybe that's reversed. He's fighting Sasquatch and Wendigo's in the background. I should have looked it up before I did this. But anyway, $5 I got this. And he was loose I would say he's halfway loose because he was still in the packaging but out of the card so you know when you take the card out and he's still in that bubble package and you got to do all the little twisty ties off so he still had all that on so he was pretty much unopened or taken out uh, so he's practically brand new but for five bucks get this big ass figure and it's the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Wendigo I love it all right, here is Wendigo, old school toy biz. Got those articulated fingers. It actually stands rather well. Decent paint job and great sculpt, I think. La 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 la! Those crazy red eyes. All right, next up at the toy show, I picked up the Bat Creature. Yes, Bat Creature. This reminds me of something out of Skyrim, like the Falmers that you have to fight in the caves and stuff like that. Um, and a few of the vampires, actually, if you put the right paint job on it. But looks pretty cool. I am going to make a some sort of Skyrim diorama, uh, and this guy will fit in perfectly with that. So, pretty cool. I think I got this for 10 bucks, so. Very nice. And I guess they re-released some of these Harry Potters because I believe Severus Snape was uh, a little bit harder to find. Ruffles. But uh, I did see a, quite a few of him at Walmart, which is the exclusive. They have the exclusive on him and looks pretty cool. I definitely like these uh, by Funko. The price point is very, very nice. The paint jobs, uh, the sculpt. It comes with accessories, and I like the window box design, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so as you can see, he comes with a cauldron, his wand, and a potion. Also at the North Dallas Toy Show, I picked up the I Dig Dinosaur Neil Tick figure from the 1990s. Um, I have most of them. I think I'm only lacking the original Tick, just the blue suited Tick. I have the swim shorts, I have the I Love Wheat. Um, and they're supposed to talk, but of course, being from the 90s, the battery's dead. But uh, I do leave these on the card, so this will be going on the wall for sure. This was actually made by Bandai, um, Fox Kids Network, the tick. So pretty sweet there, a little 90s nostalgia. And the I Dig Dinosaur Neil tick. <laughs> oh man, this cracks me up. Okay, so yes, these are blind box, but they have been opened. I checked the figures, and they're still in really great condition. Uh, here I got Triclops, Manny Faces. This one that I did, uh, this is from the New Wave. I did pick him up at, uh, I believe, Hot Topic is the exclusive seller for these. Loyal Subjects, Masters of the Universe. This one... It doesn't have the tag on. Who did I already say? Triclops, Manny Faces. So this one is Man at Arms. Very cool. 
And then last but not least, this is the variant, I believe. Nope, this is the blue, Merman blue with sword. Uh, Merman's one of my favorite character designs, so definitely glad to have him. This is the first time I've bought any of the loyal subjects. Um, so we'll get my hands on them here in a minute and take a look. All right, these things are awesome. I will have to say that that blue Merman is my favorite. Skeletor looks pretty sweet too, but then you got Triclops, Manny Faces, and Stratos. They look pretty good. And then of course, uh, he actually changes faces, which is pretty sweet. Decent paint jobs on these. Some have a few blemishes and everything, but still look pretty cool all together. And then he's got his different eyes. Err. His evil eye. Evil. I'll put him at the happy, happy eye. <laughs> but pretty sweet. I'm going to have to pick up some more of these. Speaking of Merman, when I went to uh, Madness, finally picked up the pop. I've slowly been adding to my pop collection, the He-Man Masters of the Universe. I have Beastman, Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Armor Skeletor, Orko, and Stratos. So I'm just lacking Evil Lynn. Evil Lynn will finish this out. But pretty cool. And yet another Merman. Merman. Pretty selective on my pops these days. Um... So when I saw Mr. Garrison with uh, Mr. Hanky, I had to have him. I do already have, um, did I say Mr. Hanky? Mr. Hand. <laughs> Randy Marsh. I got Randy Marsh. I uh, would like to pick up Chef. I do have Cartman. And I'm not, I don't like the uh, Human Kiter tool shed, so I'm probably going to pass on those. But love South Park. Great show. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So is Gravity Falls. I got Waddles. How can you pass on Waddles? Big old fat pig. And his name is Waddles. <laughs> uh, this is a really great show. I can't believe it only lasted for three seasons. But if you have Hulu, definitely go check it out. It is a binge-worthy show for sure. So there's also uh, Dipper and Mabel, Grunkle Stan, and uh, Bill, the, uh, the triangle guy third fourth dimension whatever he is oh he's a pig he's a pig he's a big fat pig he's waddles he's waddles all right i was super excited to find ron weasley even though this is the form that i find ron most annoying from because he's just a little whiny bitch in this movie um but he does know wizard's chest so i guess uh i guess we owe him a debt of gratitude i'm sorry ron but you're a little bitch <laughs> But I love figure arts, I love Harry Potter, so this is definitely a welcome addition to my collection. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Rebel Teed, oh yeah. Alright, one of my favorite out of the bunch are these SH figure arts Harry Potter figures. Oh, Ron. Had to dim the lights quite a bit for Ron. He's got a pale complexion. Comes with his broom. If it'll focus, I'll show you the handle. So pretty sweet detail, would expect nothing less from SH Figure Arts, of course. And then he comes with a, a whooshing robe there when he's flying around. He only comes with one face swap, but this one looks like he's got some paint issues. Looks like he's got boogers or something coming out of his nose. Which is apropos, I guess, for Ron. <laughs> comes with scabbers. Pretty sweet detail on that mischievous rat. And some books. And multiple sets of hands. One to grip his broom, one to grip his wand. One to kind of place over the broom. Open palm. So pretty good assortment there. 
definitely feel like I got my money's worth. I think he went for $64. Picked him up at uh, GameStop. And because I busted him out, I might as well bust out Harry, which looks amazing. And he's got the Nimbus 2000 fancy pants. Focus. So pretty good detail. That little bitty tiny writing. Look how sweet that broom is. Mm mm mm. That's the fastest broom in the world. You got Hedwig. It's got some uh, head rotation and the wings do pop off. So you can put those flying wings on. He does have a peg in the back, but they didn't include a stand or anything. He actually comes with three face swaps, some books, and the same hands as Ron. So pretty sweet. Ugh. Okay. Hey. Next up at GameStop, I picked up Gadget. Uh, this is the last one that I needed from Wave 2. She is upside down and the seal has never been broken. So this is a factory error, but I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I definitely like the weird, the oddities. Uh, so anything that's different and a mistake, I am going to jump on it and this is fantastic. Even though it's probably going to annoy me at some point. Um, or I guess I could just hang it like that, but very cool. Uh, got Gadget. Now I'm just waiting on Monterey Jack. Holy crap. He was my favorite. He's got the weird little goggle eyes and stuff. So Zipper was pretty cool too. Uh, next toy. These I do leave in the package. FYI. Alright. Let's get into... Go back to Masters of the Universe. Whenever I watched uh, Craig from the NARC, not another retro channel, uh, he was talking about $15 Masters of the Universe classics at Think Geek. I went to the very same Think Geek and uh, found Flog for 15 bucks. So very cool. He is the evil leader of the Space Mutants. Very cool. Uh, I do leave all of my Masters of the Universe figures in the car just because they look so badass in there. I love the uh, Castle Grayskull look, the lightning, you got the nice title up front, very clear window. Love these. Uh, one of my holy grails that I'm hopefully going to be picking up this year is the uh, $500, the uh, Super 7 Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull. That thing is gorgeous and I cannot wait to pick that up. That might be the catalyst for me actually opening all my figures just so I can display them around it, but we will cross that bridge when we get to it. Also, I picked up Ryo Blast or Rio Blast, whatever you say. Um, but yeah, he is a heroic transforming gunslinger. You can't go wrong. He's got his uh, armored chaps on, or chaps, I should say. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, <laughs> did you see that NECA is going to release the uh, Ace Ventura figure? Hopefully it doesn't come out as bad as the uh, Elf, because that likeness to Will Ferrell is just atrocious. Holy crap. Alright, quickly becoming one of my favorite lines to collect. These look pretty sweet. It's like a space cowboy. Look at that handlebar mustache. Those crazy eyes, purple scaly skin. Mmm, they look so cool. <laughs> I love these classics. There's some of the others that come in that line. I want that guy for sure. He looks awesome. I have Icarus. Alright, also with that Think Geek, I saw Puma. He comes with the uh, torso of uh, Kingpin there. I cannot wait to build a Kingpin figure. Uh, like you saw earlier, I do have the uh, six-armed Spidey so far, but he doesn't come with a Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, so Puma is number two. I still need the Black Cat, uh, the Symbiote Spider-Man, Marvel's Night Thrasher, 
Silver Sable and the Red Goblin. The Red Goblin looks really, really good. Um, I did see Silver Sable at the Think Geek, but her paint was a little bit smudged in some some areas, so I'm going to wait till I see her again. Hopefully it's not a uh, continuing issue, but a lot of people were saying that they weren't that excited about Puma, but he was actually the one that I was probably looking to, forward to the most besides Six-Armed Spidey and Red Goblin. So, yeah, very excited to have him. All right, I was going to take him out of the package, but I think with the ones that I have, I'm just going to wait till I get all my Legends and finish this wave and do a massive marvel legends unboxing i think that'd be pretty cool i think i've mentioned it in a few videos before that i am a big fan of uh not only wizards and dragons and that kind of thing uh but sword in the stone from disney growing up was my favorite movie bar none uh these days i can't really pick a favorite anything even a food color car toy whatever i don't have favorites but that was my favorite movie growing up because I watched it more than any other and I never got tired of it. I am, uh, I am talking too much. <laughs> but anyways, the Dragon Lair 3D was a video game that I believe might have been turned into a cartoon at some point that didn't last too long. Uh, but it, it's like they took the animation straight from the Sword in the Stone. So here we have Singe. He is the deluxe action figure dragon. There was only four characters in this line that they released. Princess Daphne, uh, Dirk the Daring, Mordrock, and that's it. I think Mordrock comes with um, some henchmen. But uh, very, very cool. So I'm not sure if I want to take these out. I would, I would definitely take him out of the box just because he looks like he's easy to put back in. But besides this, um, yeah, besides this sticker right here, this is a pristine card, uh, super clear bubble, um, includes mystical power staff, and you got his two little minions there. Hopefully you can see it. I'll be taking close-up pictures as always at the end of the video, but but yeah, this thing is is awesome, and and they actually go for a pretty penny, so I don't know if I want to take him out just yet. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that one. All right, you probably guessed it. I decided to leave these in the package. But I'm going to have to clean up this window, get that sticker off. But still, a very sweet dragon. Very cool. I remember those minions. I don't remember any of the other characters, but I remember those minions. They kind of look like Fern Gully bats or something. So I need to pick up him and Daphne. Excuse me, Princess Daphne. But these are so cool, very fun. Love the animation style. Uh, this is what I picked up at the uh, Holocron Toy Store. There were a few others that I was gonna get, but I just wanted to make sure that if I did see anything else, like the Puma, and some other stuff that I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm glad that I passed on a few other things because hit and miss in this store. They have a lot of great stuff, but be sure to bring your pocketbook and have deep pockets because some of that stuff is really expensive if you know Star Wars, uh, especially the vintage stuff. But for some reason, the uh, micro machines, I just love uh, a toy that uh, has a dual purpose. So you have... Um, you have Luke here that is the, uh, it's just the case, I guess you could call it. But he transforms into the ice planet Hoth. And of course you got all the, the battle people up here. You got Luke, Wedge Antilles, Han Solo, a Tauntaun, Princess Leia, a Stormtrooper, Imperial Snow Trooper, I should say. And uh, you got an AT, or yeah, AT-AT. AT-AT, whatever you say, 
But I just love the Micro Machines line. So. All right, I actually became torn on opening this up just because I like the uh, box design so much. Them displayed like that. Probably gonna open it up eventually, but uh, I'd like to have another Detolf case where I can put these in for wait for now. But doesn't mean I can't show you what it looks like. It's pretty sweet. Even got the back to tank. And that sweet hoth scene. Very cool. Some of the others in the line. I have the R two D two. I'd love to get the Chewbacca C-3PO. Pretty much all of them. <laughs> Eventually I'm going to get all of them. But very, very cool. Oh! I think I need to, I think I need to drink. My mouth's getting dry talking so much. Uh, moving right along. As for mentioned, I did go to the Lego store at the mall. Um, I love the Lego Ideas line. This is Once Upon a Brick, and it's got two different um, fairy tale stories in it. You can either display the uh, Little Red Riding Hood, which has the uh, wolf dressed as the grandma. It has the grandma, Little Red Riding Hood, and the cottage. Uh, also, Jack and the Beanstalk, which looks really cool, so... I might do a quick build video of this later on down the road. That is later on down the road. And here's a little closer look, a steadier look at that Lego set. So two different fairy tales. Can't decide which one I'm going to display. Probably set the cottage and the Little Red Riding Hood to the side and then put the Jack and the Beanstalk on the book. That'll be a good idea. Next, let's go ahead and talk about some new figures that I didn't even know were coming out. It is Bob's Burgers, one of my favorite shows right now. I think I've watched every episode twice already, but it's one of those that if you can't if you can't figure out what to watch because there's too many options out there, Bob's Burgers. There you go. Uh, so these are a little bit bigger than the uh, first. I guess you could call it the first series that came out. Uh, that are the little bitty smaller than three and three fourths vinyl figures, uh, but I like this uh, fully posable action figure. So you got a nice design there. You got uh, Gene with his uh, keytar, <laughs> and I love the way that they designed them. They look great, and for some reason they they showed Louise being a giant compared to everybody else. So I got Gene. I got Bob, Louise with Coochie Kopi. I got Linda with her uh, <laughs> with her wine bottle, and Tina, which is my favorite character, old Tina and her erotic friend fiction butt loose. <laughs> She's so great. Uh, hopefully they'll make more of these. Uh, so if you see them, buy them. So they will make more. Because I definitely want a Mort, a Teddy, a Mr. Fish Odor. Uh, Marshmallow would be hilarious. The Bikini Guy, the Speedo Guy that roller skates everywhere. Uh, who else? I mean, there's a ton of characters. Zeke. Zeke is one of my favorite characters. Jimmy Jr. Ugh, such a funny show. And here are the Belchers. They look pretty awesome. I think I'm going to leave these in the card for now because I have more wall space than I do shelf space. Old Gene. I love Gene. Burgers and fries. Burgers and fries. Here's some right here. He ain't telling no lies. <laughs> Very cool. Didn't even know they were coming out. All right, what's next? Ah, yes, the big stuff. The big stuff. All right, I got every single one of the DC Primal Age except for Scareglow and the Joker. Could not find the Joker anywhere. When I saw Scareglow, it really didn't impress me, but 
now that I have all the others, I'm probably going to end up getting them. Um, so yeah, this is Batman. We got Wonder Woman. And these are by Funko too. Green Lantern. King Shark, which is my favorite so far. Mr. Freeze, which looks really cool. No pun intended. And Aquaman with the hook hand. He looks pretty cool too. And... Is this it? This is the last one. Ugh. Last but not least. Woo! Is the DC Primal Age Batcave. This thing is ginormous. Uh, so definitely, um, they're taking a page right out of the He-Man, uh, book, making it like the, uh, Castle Grayskull or the, uh, Snake Mountain. This looks amazing. I love retro stuff. I love retro stuff that they make new, like this. So this is wonderful. I cannot wait to get all this set up and show you guys, uh, which will be here in a little bit. So... All right, here is the big one, the playset, the Bat Cave. So obviously very reminiscent of the Masters of the Universe, Castle Grayskull. Got some nice blue flames coming out up top. Got the bat hanging out over the uh, door there. Very heavy, very very dense plastic, which is nice. So it's durable for sure. And there's the back. And then I didn't realize this before, but look at that little bitty guy down there. That is pretty cool that they added that little bitty detail down there. A little lizard. And there's the inside with all the figures I have so far. So, pretty sweet. Got a banner up there. Oop, that's off its peg a little bit. Fix that. Ah, lovely. Got some training weapons and a training dummy. Green Lantern looks pretty good. King Shark, my favorite so far. It's the type, eh, it's pretty close. Uh, King Shark and Aquaman look pretty good. And then, of course, this is movable. Got Mr. Freeze in there, guarded by Aquaman. Just the level of detail on Aquaman is awesome. And then he's actually, Mr. Freeze has got a removable helmet. Ah. Pretty cool. An old Batman in his throne. And Wonder Woman. Pretty awesome. Definitely brings out the kid in me. So we got some good stuff and I appreciate your patience on waiting for this video to come out uh, and let me know if you like the new format if you do I'll keep doing it if not I'll change it back uh, other than that thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me be sure to watch out for a toy hunting video coming to you very very soon either Wednesday or Thursday other than that, that's all I got. Be good to one another out there, and I will see you later on down the road. Bye-bye. Well, you're crazy.